A host record, also known as an A record, gives us a record that points a name to an IP address. And there's a couple that you see here already with DC2 and DC1. These are host or A records, and they're pointing to IP addresses that you see off to the right. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add in an additional record. Now, if a computer is joined to an Active Directory domain, when it logs in, it will automatically register its IP address with the DNS server that you see here as these first two records have done. But sometimes we need to add records for servers or devices that are not going to be members of the Active Directory domain, but we still need to be able to resolve their names to IP addresses. So if I right click and I choose new host, A or this quad A option, the quad A or four A's is for IP version six and the single A is just for IP version four, which is usually the default for most internal networks. So now I'm going to give this a name. I'll just call it server one. And you can see it automatically appends the Active Directory domain to that. So it's going to be server1.mydomain.int. So don't add the entire fully qualified domain name up here. Just add the name of that server or client computer. Now I'm going to add in the IP address for that device. And if I'd like to, I can create a PTR record or reverse record. It also stands for pointer record. An A record points a name to an IP address. A reverse record points an IP address back to a name. In most cases, you don't need that in small networks. Larger networks, it's definitely a good idea. I'm going to click on Add Host, click OK, and I'm done. Now, if that server is running and it doesn't have ICMP for ping request blocked, then you'll be able to ping it. So I'll type in command, and now I'm going to go ahead and ping that IP address. Now, it's okay if it doesn't respond. It's just there to go ahead and double check that I created the A record properly. So it should show me a name to an IP address. So I'll type ping server1, and we can see it did resolve to the IP address that I created with that A record. Manually creating an A record or host record in a Windows DNS server allows us to go ahead and bypass dynamic DNS registration so we can put in the record exactly the way we want it.